guys, I'm Lauren Vitale. On this episode of Lauren in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make risotto alla milanese. Risotto alla milanese is a very classic Italian risotto. It's infused with saffron. It's delicious. Let me take you over the ingredients so we can get started. You're going to need some arborio rice or risotto rice, one small onion, finely chopped, white wine, unsalted butter, some saffron threads, good quality parmesan cheese, and I always use parmigiano reggiano, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, and you're also going to need some chicken stock, which I have simmering here, and a little pan because you want to make sure it's simmering while the risotto is actually cooking. So, in this pan, and I want to stretch something. When you're making risotto, please make sure you make it in a wide pan rather than a saucepan because otherwise it's going to come out like glue. It's not going to be all nice and creamy. It's not going to have a chance to kind of cook slowly and have a lot of space for the starch to come out. It's going to cook all together and it's not going to be risotto. So, that's the number one tip. In here, I have a couple tablespoons of olive oil. To that, I'm going to add in my onion. I have it over about medium high heat. And now to my chicken stock that's been simmering back there, I'm going to add in some saffron threads. And saffron threads are actually found in the crocus flour. So it is a very expensive spice, but it is crucial for this risotto. Otherwise, without this, you basically have white risotto. You don't have risotto milanese. This is what gives it that flavor that milanese risotto is known for. So, take a pinch of that and put it into the warm stock. And that's going to infuse and give it a beautiful, like, golden color. So as that's going, I'm going to just saute, put this a little bit higher. There we go. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in my onions just to flavor them and help them draw out their liquid or their water, I should say. And cook them for about four to five minutes or until they develop a little bit of color and begin to cook down. They look fabulous. Now to this, I'm going to add in my risotto rice and I'm going to just cook it for about a minute or two. I want it to get coated in that olive oil that's now been infused with the onion and it's going to get toasted a little bit, which is delicious. So let that go for about a minute or so. Now to this, I'm going to add in some white wine and this is going to cook for just a minute and when the wine reduces, then I'm going to add in my first ladle of the chicken stock and I'll show you what that looks like once we're there. Now that the wine has reduced, I'm going to start adding in my chicken stock one ladleful at a time, and that's super important. Look at the color. How gorgeous is that? And that is from the saffron, and it's just so wonderful. Now, you are not going to add any more liquid until this first ladleful that we just added of chicken stock is going to reduce just like the wine did. And then once it's reduced, you add in another ladleful, and you keep doing that until the result is cooked and nice and tender but still al dente. It'll take about 18 minutes or so and I'll show you what it looks like but we're at the finish line. My risotto is just about done and at this point it's nice and al dente with a nice bite to it. Now most people would think that that's perfect consistency but it's not because as it cools it sets and that doesn't have enough liquid. So I'm going to put in another ladle full, turn it completely off and it's going to look liquidy but trust me when I tell you this is going to work. You're going to put in a good amount of unsalted butter. Make sure it's at room temperature. Grate in a pretty generous amount of parmigiano. Fabulous. Season it with salt and pepper. How gorgeous is that golden color from the saffron? It's amazing. Like liquid gold almost. Good amount of salt, but don't overdo it because the cheese is salty. Give it a big stir. Now you're going to put the lid on and leave it alone for five minutes. That five minutes is going to work wonders on this. I'll show you what it looks like right before we serve it. After five minutes, your risotto is done. It smells amazing, looks amazing, but it's still nice and liquidy. Italians always say that risotto should be made con una onda, which means it should be made like a wave. When you stir it, a spoon shouldn't stick straight up into it. If it does, it's not good. It should be really nice and runny, and the rice should be cooked just al dente, not mushy. I'm going to serve myself just a little here to taste because I'm planning on serving the rest of it with some osobuco. And you're going to have to wait for a future episode for that one. That. Mm. There are no words to explain how delicious that is. You need to go to www.lauraninkitchen.com to get the recipe. Make it, and then let me know how you like it. 
I'll see you next time. Remember, go to www.learningkitchen to get the recipe and plenty others. Bye-bye.